Hello, I'm Arnell from Mimi's Keepsakes and I am so happy you're here to join me today. I want to work again on um, making my extensive postal postage stamp collection a little smaller. I um, bought two bags if you watched my videos and followed along in Nanaimo uh, a couple of weeks ago and um, so I've worked them down. So I made these little squares that I want to use on a journal cover. I've been following along with Cindy from Studio Lou. Uh, she's been making a flea market journal and I just want to thank her for mentioning me on her channel last week. Um, thank you very much. Cindy, I have been following along and I'm having so much fun making th this journal with her. And if you want to go um, look at her channel and, and look at those videos, it's a really uh, a nice process to follow along with lots of original ideas. So I'm busy with the one journal. I'll show you when I'm done with that. But I thought, oh, I want to make another one. So I thought I'll start working on a different journaling cover. So she, on her video, um, just kind of eyeballed the size of her journal and she used a file folder and that's exactly what I'm doing. So the one that I'm making with her is getting a little chunky. So I thought I'll give this journal just a small spine just to give it a little bit more room to grow. And she kept the flaps on the file folder and just used them for pockets on the inside. So we're gonna, um, you're gonna collage this area here and then the entire outside. I think today, we'll see how long it takes. We'll just wor work on the outside. Um, and I'm gonna start by using these um, packaging material that I um, just glued a bunch of stamps on. So the stuff that I'm going to use, I picked things from my stash that I would, you know, when I go to a flea market, what would I buy? That's what I thought. So um, that's what I am going to add on this journal. And I will simply cover. Oops. I will put a sealer when I'm done on top of all of this. So because I'm going to glue a lot of things onto this cover. So th let's use that one and this one over here. And so the mistake I made with my first cover, <laughs> because I think I didn't listen to Cindy, <laughs> was I didn't really pick a, like a, uh, a focal point for my journal cover. Um, so this time I want to make sure that I do have a focal point. And um, <laughs> so I will concentrate on this first when I'm gluing things down. And maybe I'll use another of these. over here. Hmm. Yeah, let's, let's use one over here because I will cover a lot of it. I kind of want it to look like an envelope with, you know, sometimes when you see those big envelopes, they have a lot of stamps on it. And that's what I thought I kind of want the, this cover to look with some collage around the stamps. What did I do with my... Oh, here it is. <laughs> right in front of me. So yes, I like watching Cindy's channel because her style is totally different than mine. And um, But that's exactly why I like watching her channel because um, 
it gives me new ideas. On a Tuesday, she do, does a Tuesday 10. And so she picks 10 things from her, kind of like her scrap basket, or she has a Tuesday 10 basket, I don't know. But she picks 10 pieces out of the basket, and then she makes something with it. So at the beginning of the video, she shows you her 10 things that she's going to work with. And then I would sit and think, okay, I'll make a tag with that, or I'll, that would be a perfect journaling spot, or, you know, I'm kind of deciding what I would have done if that was my scrap pieces and then usually <laughs> whatever I thought is you know she just does something totally different and something totally amazing so you know it's good to get inspiration from other channels that you know might not totally be your style or maybe that's totally different from what you normally do so I th thought for a focal point I might want one of these ladies and I don't know if I want her but I do like this one let's do the orange one what's on the back yeah let's do this one and I'm not gonna glue this one down yet because I want it to be the top layer of my collage but I do want to this time decide where I want my focal point and that it doesn't kind of get lost in everything else I'm going to glue down um, so the idea with this journal was kind of to it shouldn't have a theme and just add you know lots of different things to your page Let's add this Edith Holden leftover piece on here. Yeah, it's kind of overcast today, so it's really dark. I hope the light is good enough. I have so many things on my desk to collage with, I keep losing stuff. Um, let's see what else we have over here. Let's add this on there. So I'm adding, like gluing a base layer and then I'll add smaller things on top. Oh, Maybe I'll bring this one, you know, we'll add something on there to fill that empty space in there. Um, and let's do some Monopoly money. So I am trying like here's my spine because it needs to bend and you know where the folds are I'm trying to put bigger pieces on top to strengthen it and so when you fold it it doesn't totally come apart okay this is still my focal point even it's all feels like it's almost glued on to my page now um, how about this is this too big maybe um, let's add oh I like that everything is sticky so this was from a vintage garden 
um, gardening magazine from the 60s, if I remember correctly. And I'm still going to add this on here. Maybe we'll add have this from a Art National Gallery in London. Let's see. Where this can fit in. That can fit in there. And let's add some of this. Maybe over there, because there's a long strip there that needs to be covered. A long, thin strip. And then maybe we can add words or something on top. Yeah, I don't need the entire thing. And when I'm done, I will go in and trim the edges. So a lot of it is overlapping. And maybe I'll just fold this one over. Okay. And next, how about this? But I cut that out. This can go on there somewhere. Easter is coming up and I <laughs> am not prepared. I don't know. It just feels like it's still January and I have lots of time till Easter. But unfortunately that is not the case. I'll have to go and get some Easter eggs. My kids are older but they <laughs> still like to do the Easter egg hunt. Last year I said, well, you're too old for that. And they said, no, you, we have to do the Easter egg hunt. So um, I guess we'll do the Easter egg hunt again this year. Let's add that. Um, but I don't have Easter eggs yet. I'll have to get on that sometime this week fast and then um, we're still we have to hand in our taxes tomorrow that's oh I don't want to cover that bird let me just sorry get grab a little cut a small piece of there's the, and maybe a little more let's just Sorry, this is a big, and let's add this word in there. It's from the Sears catalog. Just a scrap little piece left over. I don't know from which project. And um, let's see what else. So I'm going to put her there. Maybe let's add some music paper. Like in here. Oh, let's do the treble clef. That always looks interesting. are too close. No, let's change our minds. Or did we put that there? Let's see if we have this. It's all very square. <laughs> Maybe I'll do this one 
but something underneath. Um, let's do a piece of map underneath. do that. What did I do with my glue page? <laughs> it's such a mess on my desk at the moment. Because I picked things that I want to use on the page and it's all spread out everywhere. Okay, we can cut that off. So then she'll be there. I want maybe to add that on there. Um, let's see. We'll add this. Oh, I need something in here. Maybe do the music paper in here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm just going to put the glue on this and see. be in there and let's see now we still have to cover this um, let's see what this is this is a Sears but still the same color than that I don't want that how about this this is from an old book with house plans yeah let's do use this We do want it colorful and eclectic with lots of things on the cover and then add more things on top. Labels, flowers, seat packets. Let's see. Yes, we'll do that. And then it won't look as square once I'm done. Let's do something on the pink. I want to add some Beatrix Potter, maybe a little mouse. Yeah, and maybe I will tear out the mouse so we move away from all the solid edges but still keep it fairly square okay Let's see where my focal point is I don't want to forget about her again um, Let's do that there. Okay, and she'll be here. Maybe I'll glue her down. Beatrix Potter illustration. And then this one maybe over here. Oh, so it might soapbox Darby. Let's add this doily. Here, yeah, it's kind of been a crazy day for me. I had lots of chores to do and 
driving around in town and I don't know, our, it's so busy at the moment and I live in a tourist town and it's not even summer and it's already crazy busy so summer will probably be even worse um, grab new glue page this is a vintage nabob um, label I wonder do I want the green or do I maybe I'll yeah let's do the green gives it a little extra color okay now so the it's the entire cover is now covered but I do want to add some extra things to give it extra interest maybe I'll do this flower over here let's see what else I have I have this rose let me just see where the pocket it's gonna fold over here so if I have the rose maybe I should have it this way or the front and what else do I have over here There's a huge stamp. Let's put this one over here. I like that. I just want to find a couple of things before I just start gluing down. A bird. There's another cute yellow bird. Oh, I have to remember where the pocket is. So that mouse would be cut off. Hmm. The bird can go over here on that pocket. Maybe over here. Is it too yellow? I don't know if you can see. Maybe I should pick something different for on there. Because this will be on the pocket. I should put these here. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry, this is really big and I don't know, you probably can't see everything. Let's put the bird over here and should we add more flowers? Flowers over there. Maybe something. on here hmm. okay <laughs> let's find I want something on this side oh this might be cute to cover that corner and break it up a little bit I think that's good I don't know if you still can see. I'm quiet because I'm trying to figure out. Let me just see where that pocket would be so those birds would be cut in half, which is fine. Okay. And maybe. I'm just looking through this big 
plate of mine to see if I can find anything else that I can add. Maybe this bird, just something on there with the stamps. And maybe I'm looking for something colorful. Or maybe I'll take this picture, vintage picture, and some fussy cut flowers. Let's see. So this is where I want to add something and maybe I can add her underneath and maybe I can cut her actually a little smaller because there is a lot of empty space. Okay, let's do this with her behind. not the red and maybe not the pink with this maybe yellow yes okay I'm gonna glue that on and see how this looks okay I want that let's start <laughs> on one side and move on from there I'm going to cut glue this oh. now I have glue problems. What? Just see. I didn't put my pen back. That's why. Because I've been looking through all these things to decide what to go on to the cover. Oh, oh I already have a pen on. That's why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> didn't forget the pen this time. So I'm hoping that wherever you are, that things that you, you know, things are going well for you. Here we're definitely, spring is here and we're starting to feel, well, I am starting to feel very excited about that because I can't wait to start wor working in my garden. I have quite a bit of roses and lavenders and at the moment the hyacinths are blooming and the bluebells, so that's what I call them. I don't know what they really are called. Maybe I'll pick a couple for the next video and show you. So I'm happy about that, but we still have lots of pruning to do, but we can't do the roses yet because it still might we still might get frost at night. And um I have a couple of trees like fig trees and hibiscus trees that tropical plants that I have to store in the garage during the winter because they won't survive the snow. So we're currently debating on whether or not to bring them out but same thing we're still scared we might get a lot of frost and then they definitely would die. That's how I lost one of my um, trees, huge trees that I had for years last year. So yeah, it's always a toss-up <laughs> when to get everything out of the garage. All the plants. But it can't be too long. We're already in the middle of April. So... I'm also very excited. I bought a fig tree that can survive the cold. So we're going to plant that in the garden. I love figs, but it's very hard to get find figs in Canada and if you do it's um, usually not that tasty <laughs> and oh, usually those smaller little the purple ones I don't know where they come from so I'm very excited hopefully if we plant the tree I don't know if it will bloom yet ne next year but I'm hoping I am. Um, oh, I forgot to put this underneath. Quick, quick, quick. It's art that are glued. 
it dries pretty fast. Yeah, and my children that's in university, they're writing their, started writing their final exams this week. So it's the end of the year is near for them and then they'll be home from April till August and then start the new university year again. School is in Canada from September through to June every year, which was weird for us when we moved here at first because our school year was from January to December. So, but by now we're used to it and it's normal because then we have the summer off. Um, and this one. So yeah, I don't think I made a huge dent in my um, stamps, but at least I used some. I'm busy with another um, stamp cover that I will show you when I do the flip through of these. Um, oh, this one, I forgot about this one. When I do the flip through for these um, journals that I made with Cindy. Where did I put this one? Oh, it's probably over here. <laughs> okay, let's glue this down. Um, and then I'll show you, I'm, I want to make a couple of these journals because they were so much fun and I could use so many of the things, you know, I didn't, I just picked a lot of things, random things, and I just kind of sat down and worked with her on, you know, followed her video. And then, um, yeah, it was just fun. So I'm, I want to do more of these. Oops, and I tore this. Maybe I'll just leave it. <laughs> Don't know where that got it. Anyway, there. So I'll just trim this down. So yeah, she's Studio Lou, Cindy from Studio Lou. And I'll link her channel below. And again, thank you very much for mentioning me on your channel. Um, and go see what she's up to. She posts videos every day. And it's always something fun and interesting. And like I say, totally different from what I normally do. So for me, I really enjoy watching her channel. Just go around. So I'm just trimming off the excess here. Oh, I have to stay straight. I'll have to use my trimmer and fix that. Anyway, let's... I am not going to fold this over yet because it's still very wet and if I fold it now it might bubble, but this is the cover that I just decoupaged with all kinds of things. Oh, I cut the poor birdie's beak off. But thank you for joining me today and I will come back and um, once I am finished with my flea marker journals that I followed along with Cindy from Studio Lou and um, give you a quick flip through. Um, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment in, in the description box below. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Bye!